हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज लाइक एंड अनलाइक डेसिमल नंबर्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर एट ओके सो ए डेसिमल नंबर्स विद द सेम नंबर ऑफ डेसिमल प्लेसेस आर कॉल्ड लाइक डेसिमल नंबर्स डेसिमल नंबर्स विथ द सेम नंबर ऑफ डेसिमल प्लेसेस आर कॉल्ड लाइक डेसिमल नंबर्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लुक एट हियर सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एंड फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फोर सिक्स आर लाइक डेसिमल्स बिकॉज ईच हैविंग टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस आफ्टर पॉइंट टेंथ हंड्रेड ओके टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस आर गिवन हियर आफ्टर पॉइंट टेंथ एंड हंड्रेड हियर ऑल्सो टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस आर गिवन दैट इज वाई both decimal numbers are like decimals clear everyone next b decimal numbers with different numbers of decimal places are called unlike decimal numbers 11.7 and 11.07 are unlike decimal numbers what is the reason for that because 11 in 11.7 After point only one decimal place is there, and in this number after point two decimal places are there. Here is only tenth, and here is tenth and hundredth. Clear? Now students, we are going to learn how to convert the following uh, following decimals into like decimals. So look at here, seven point eight. Five point two seven five, nine point zero five, eight point five. Here is one decimal place. Here is three, two, and one. So these are unlike decimals. And how we will convert them into like decimal? So students, maximum number of decimal places in given number is three. Okay. Here is one. Here is three. Here is two and here is one. So maximum number three, right? Thus, each of these decimals have to be converted to decimals with three decimal places. And how it is possible? By putting zero at the right side of the number. Okay. Seven point eight is equal to. Now here only one decimal place is there. So put two zero. Yes, write down two zero at the right side to convert them into like fraction with three decimal places. So now, after putting two zero, tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Okay, three decimal places are here. In this number, already three decimal places are there. So no need to convert. In this number, tenth and hundredth, one decimal place is left. So Add only one zero. Now tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Three decimal places are there. Eight point five. Here is only one decimal place. So write down two zero at the right side. Now it has three decimal places. One sorry tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Clear? So students, in this way we can convert. Unlike decimals into like decimals by putting zero at the right side. Because of this, the value of the number will not be increased or decreased. It will be as it is. Okay, that is why. Now, students, write two equivalent decimal numbers of zero point nine, six point five three, and zero point zero three. So how we will do that? Zero point nine. The equivalent decimal number of zero point nine is zero point nine zero. Then another zero point nine zero zero. So by adding zero only at the right side, we will get the equivalent decimal numbers of the given number. Okay, let us take one another. Six point five three. What is the equivalent decimal number of this? Six point five three zero. 
see only one zero is written at the right side another equivalent number of this number 6.5300 okay i hope you understood it 0.03 add 10 to get the first equivalent then add 20 to get the second equivalent decimal of this number so by adding 0 we will get the equivalent decimal number okay now the value of decimal number does not change if more zeros are added after the rightmost digit of a decimal number as i told you further the value of decimal number does not change if more zeros are added after the rightmost digit of a decimal number okay clear everyone afterwards next topic is ordering decimal numbers let us learn to compare decimal numbers first convert unlike decimals into like decimals then compare the whole number part if whole number part is same then the come to the fractional part and compare tenth hundredth and so on so let us take one example which is greater 12.451 or 12.54 so students first of all convert into like decimal here three decimal places are there and here only two so first of all take three decimal places in this number 12.451 as it is 12.4 sorry 12.54 12.540 okay so here is also three decimal places and here is also three decimal places since whole number part are equal okay 12 12 before point is called whole part we compare decimal parts starting from the tenth so look at here 12 12 is same now after point here is 4 and here is 5 so obviously 4 tenth and 5 tenth 5 is greater than 4 5 is greater than 4 that is why 12.451 is less than 12.54 okay clear everyone now example 2 arrange the following decimals in ascending order 13.8 19.525.0.627.14.358.13.72 so students first of all with chart i will explain you decimal numbers point ones tens hundreds thousands and here the right side of the point tenth hundredth thousandth okay now point under point 13 at the place where you ones three is given so write down three and one under the tens place value right then after point 8 8 tenth write down 0 0 then 14.358 then 13.72 and write down here 0 now they are converted into like decimal okay all the numbers have now three decimal places okay so look at here we are going to arrange in a ascending order right so smallest number is what okay first of all yes 0.627 because we have to compare first of all from the first digit okay so here is 1 1 1 1 
here is 13 19 14 and 13 here is only 0 so it is the smallest number 0 0.627 less than bigger than 0 is 13 19 14 and 13 so right now 13 is the smallest number but 2 times 13 are there 13 13 so now we will move to the 10th place value here is 8 and here is 7 so 7 is less right so the second number will be 13.72 less than now second 13 will come 13.8 13.8 less than bigger number than 13 is yes 14 14.358 bigger than 14 is 19 19.525 so students in this way first of all you have to convert all the given numbers in a same decimal places then arrange into ascending order by comparing one after one number okay